People who work at businesses along Port Avenue say not one, not two, but as many as four boat in it locations are not in the best condition. I'm Nadia Escobar, your neighborhood news reporter, listening to their concerns and how they want city leaders to help them. Well, it didn't really mass manifest itself till about five to seven years ago. Amador Garcia has been a property owner of a business plaza on Port Ave for nearly 20 years. In that time, he says problems related to homelessness have worsened. He says the former site of a boat and net restaurant near his office has become a hangout for the homeless. You call the police and, I mean, they do their job. They come in, honk and horn, get out, get leave, and they leave. But Garcia says it's like a revolving door. The homeless causing problems always comes back. The girls or the females prostitute themselves, and there's some shoplifting going on, not here because there's not the shoplift, but they do the shoplifting at the, at the Family Dollar store. Garcia used to own that Family Dollar on port, but he says he sold it because of issues with the homeless. He claims other businesses in the area are also being impacted. It's a fact impact because I got women and children coming to use the services and impacts on when they want to use their services, uh, they can't because they're all over the sidewalk. Chris 6 News submitted a public information request to the city of Corpus Christi's code enforcement. The documents we got showed dozens of code violations and complaints, not just about the vacant boat and net near Garcia's office, but against three other former boat and net locations. The complaints were about things like tall weeds, overgrown grass, trash, and trespassers. Code enforcement says they are aware this is a continuing problem. They say they are working on a solution. Garcia says while he waits for a solution, the homeless keep returning. But what they do is they, they bring cardboard boxes and stuff, and that's where they spend the night. When it rains, I got a canopy on, on my side of the building, so they sleep on my side. Amador Garcia says he will continue to call the city with his concerns, and he is hopeful that the police will increase their patrols in the area. From the city's west side, I'm your neighborhood news reporter, Nadia Escobar, Chris 6 News.